Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Scorpio. One card just fell out. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the next seven days. Now, keep in mind the timing is fluid, so that's the way it goes. And not every reading is for you, okay? So it's being recorded on the 15th, so you can see the 15th through the 22nd. Um, but seven days from the date that you watch it would probably be best. So what do we have for Scorpio, if this reading is for you? Mm. This is the first card that fell out, September. So something that happened in September may be coming back around now. You could also be dealing with a Libra or a Virgo. Um, something or maybe even something in a previous September is being dealt with at this time um, Sun happiness and well-being so this is about your happiness and well-being this week um, maybe you're gonna be in a really happy place I mean that's shining that's glowing I mean Sun brings happiness it brings joy it brings great health right this is in the light so maybe you're going to be in the spotlight. I'm not sure, but uh, sun card is typically very warm, very beautiful, you know, um, can signify new beginnings as well. So what do we have for Scorpio? What do we have for Scorpio? It's beautiful, okay? Everybody loves the sun, so it's time of love as well. So interesting. Maybe, maybe people are... are are really drawn to you during this week. Ooh, stiff competition. There's some sort of stiff competition that you're going to be dealing with. I'm going to show you what's on the bottom because I just happened to look. 555. Five, 555 five. Five, five, five is about change. It's about personal freedom. Expect the unexpected. Fives um, represent a need for change. Uh, your life is about to change when you see 555. Five, five. It is going to change, okay? Could change unexpectedly. Um, it's usually positive. It's positive. And this is positive. The sun is very positive. So there's positive change that is coming. It may be unexpected. Okay. And it, you know, some and some positive change usually comes from conflict. People don't want to hear it, whatever. But fives are a number of conflict. So there's probably some sort of conflict that brings positive change. All right. Ah, we got an older man here. There's an older man that it may be the catalyst to this change. Something could be happening now. I'm not sure. Um, we, we may see the result two weeks from now. Could start out this week. Could have started in September. Uh, I'm not sure. I definitely want to use. I guess we're going to use this one. No, I don't want to use that one. I guess we're going to use this one. So, what do we have for Scorpio? Keep in mind that every word that comes out of my mouth is part of this reading. No, I don't think I want this one. No, I don't think so. King of Wands reverse could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Doesn't have to have to be. This is entitled. We have somebody here that is unreasonable, uh, conceited, entitled, hard to deal with. Uh, it could, this could be a father figure. Doesn't have to be. This is somebody that may be in a position of authority that is very angry or has some sort of anger issues or entitlement issues. Uh, conceited, self-centered. Um, Seven of Cups reversed, okay? That is seeing very clearly. There's coming out of confusion, making a choice. Somebody's doing something. Maybe they've been exploring other options. Uh, there's been some sort of illusion coming out of illusion. There could be an angry, anger outburst ahead. There's, there's, you may even have a tyrant here. You know, somebody, there's a tyrant that... Uh, something about exploring other options this is your older man there is an older man here that's going to be uh, making some sort of choice because that's a choice being made 
Oh, underneath it, Seven of Pentacles, it says success unfulfilled. So that's the focus of this reading. There's, there's a lack of success here. Somebody invested in something prematurely or they put it in the wrong spot. You know, they didn't nurture it when they were supposed to or they were, it was in a dark place. You know, it just wasn't the right situation to grow. So that's the focus of this reading. We, this, this, this is a short-lived success, okay? And somebody invested in something. Uh, it was a poor choice, obviously, with the Seven of Cups. Somebody made a poor choice. They made a poor choice to invest in something that wasn't fertile, right? It wasn't. It was... Uh, it wasn't planted at the right time or it wasn't planted in the right place. It was planted in, in the wrong circumstances. Mm. Nine of Swords. So giving deep thought. I think we have somebody here. This is despair and cruelty. Okay, we have somebody here that has done something. Uh, they may have some serious regrets for doing it. They didn't care. They didn't care. There's some sort of regrets now. Selfish behavior. Six of Pentacles reversed. Okay. That is presently not receiving. Lack of reciprocation. Not getting. An abuse of generosity. Uh, we may have a fraud here. We may have a con man. Uh, we have a fraud. We have a con. We have somebody that invested in something um, dark. Okay. Um, selfish. There's selfish. There's greed here. We have an injustice. Somebody has done something that, that is, uh, it was a poor decision. It was a poor choice. Now they're not receiving. This could be a loss of a job, a loss of money, a loss of income, suffering. We definitely have somebody here that is reaping some, because this is, you, you reap what you sow, the six of pentacles. This is bad luck or something like that. Somebody has done something and it doesn't have to be you. It could be somebody that you're dealing with. There's some sort of uh, regrets for, this is somebody that doesn't care who they hurt. They've done something and now they're reaping some of the, uh, I don't know if it's karma or what. There's no growth. There's no financial growth. There's a financial loss. It really is. It's time to go someplace else. This is a fraud. I mean, the Six of Pentacles reverse is a fraud, right? We have an abuse of power. I feel like we have a con man here that is, I feel like it's a narcissist. I don't know if it's a father figure or it's a boss or it's a husband or somebody, but it's somebody that is very controlling. We have some strong control issues here. Narcissistic behavior as well. It is an older man. Ooh. Ruin. Ten of swords in the future. Complete ruin. Total loss. The end, the end, the end of something. So we do, in the future, something is coming to an end. This is a betrayal. It's the ultimate betrayal. It's the death of a situation. <laughs> There's an abuse of power here. Somebody's going to get exactly what they deserve. I feel like it's karma. This is somebody that, that, that is, has been suffering because it's almost like they know what they've done is wrong, but they're unwilling to come clean. They're unwilling to uh, make it right, you know? So there's going to be some sort of ending here. This is complete ruin. It's the end. It's the end. Whew. Something's going to happen really, really, really fast. That says swiftness. This is fast forward movement. Something's going to happen really, really, really fast. Princess of Cups. Page of Cups. Four of Swords reversed. Wow. We have the death of a situation here. This is exhausted, fed up. A breaking point. We do have a breaking point. We may have somebody here that is sick. They may even have some, I'm going to be honest, mental issues with these swords. <laughs> this is, there's been some sort of stagnation. Somebody, it feels like somebody has done something illegal. There's an abuse of generosity. Strings attached. Taking something that isn't theirs. Theft, theft. Six of Pentacles is in reverse, is theft. 
And the overall outcome is the Empress reversed. So the Empress reversed is a loss, right? It's a termination, right? So I'm, I'm, there's, there's a lack of growth. Somebody didn't nurture something. And we see that in the Seven of Pentacles as well. There's a lack of nurturing. There's a lack of love. There's, there's um, self-absorbed, mean-spirited. Um, we may have a feminine here that doesn't care she's very selfish she's very self-absorbed and this if it, i believe it's a feminine this is somebody that doesn't take care of business she's not and, and she may not even be that feminine you know she's not very feminine she's not caring she's not loving she doesn't uh nurture things she's lazy she's uh possessive she's there could even be infidelity here i mean the empress reverse she doesn't care she doesn't care. She's not very loving. This is a mess. This is, uh, I don't know. Maybe we have somebody here that doesn't take care of herself. She doesn't take care of her home. She doesn't take care of her children. She don't take care of anybody. She's not very loving. The overall outcome is the Empress Reverse, which is not giving love. It's loss. It's a loss. Oh, my God. No growth. What is this Empress Reversed? The world card. The world card is an ending. It's a major completion of a cycle. It's the end. It's the end of a cycle with a female that is very selfish, very self-absorbed, very uh, lazy. This is a mess. This is a this is a mess. So we have a woman here that uh, does not take care of things. She she doesn't nurture things. She doesn't feed things. She doesn't care. She's she's not very. Uh, I don't think she takes care of herself. She doesn't take care. And she's possessive. She may even have some jealousy issues. Anyhow, the world card is a completion. There's mother issues here as well. Um, not very motherly. Not very feminine. I feel like we have a woman here that's not very feminine. Okay, she's a feminine, but she's not very feminine. You know what I'm saying? Anyhow, the world card is an ending. The four of swords is an ending. Um... The Ten of Swords is an ending. This is the end. This is goodbye. This is the end of dealing with this woman. I think we have an older man that is making a choice next to that Seven of Cups reverse. This man. Okay, and all you women want to take on that energy, whatever. Okay, I feel like we have a man that is making a choice. Because you don't want to hear it, right? I'm the one in control. That's where we get into problems. But we aren't going to get into that right now. Anyhow, uh, King of King of Wands reverse. This is. I feel like we have a masculine. I don't care what you think. That is making a choice. Seven of Cups reversed. He is making a choice to not give. Okay. He is making a choice to stop investing. He has a lot of regrets for even investing in the, this in the first place. Okay. This woman led him down the wrong path, or he was trying to prove a point to somebody. You know, he was trying to be in control. He had control issues. You know, he was in his ego. Now it's over. He's been suffering. He's been in a lot of pain. He knows that this isn't the right thing. Um, things are going to change really fast. This is a dead end. This is the end of a cycle. It's the end of a chapter. Um, it's a major accomplishment. Somebody is choosing to leave this woman behind. This woman is not an empress. She's not very loving. She's not very gentle. She's not very caring. She probably doesn't take care of herself. She may, she may even act like a man, you know? I don't know. Anyhow, um... Uh, four of swords reversed. That is, uh, so we may have somebody here that's been hoping and praying that, that somebody would, you know, that this would be revived or there would be a change, but it's a dead end. It's, there's no spark. There's no desire. This is the death of a situation. Um, there's, there's some sort of isolation or solitude or emptiness. We have somebody here that moves really slow as well. They may sleep a lot. You know, they have a hard time doing anything. There's laziness here. I feel like we have a woman that is really lazy. She just, I don't know, she's not very womanly. She probably doesn't cook very well either. She's not a very good homemaker or something. She's not very feminine. I don't know where that's coming from. Anyhow, uh, we have somebody here that may be falling in love with somebody else or they have a new suitor. We have the Page of Cups. They may be flirting with somebody else. They may be love struck. You know, they have another opportunity. Um, flirting, communicating, um, there could be another opportunity for love. Somebody may also be listening to their intuition. They're following their heart. You know, they may, they may, um, want something more playful, more, more, uh, loving. I feel like we have somebody here that is ready. They're ready for movement. They're ready for love. Eight of, eight of wands underneath the 
the page of cups. That's like, I'm ready. And I feel like somebody's been messaging. They've been communicating with somebody that is probably more open, probably more fun, you know? Um, I think that we have an end of a cycle, the end of, of a situation where somebody has been, and there's competition here, and maybe it's been hidden. Maybe the competition has been hidden. But this is, a, I feel like we have a masculine that is making a choice. It's like they're going to stop giving to the dead end. You know, they've been thinking about it a lot. They've been losing sleep over it. They have a lot of regrets for even getting involved in this. They got involved in it because, um, but they got into it prematurely without even thinking. They they planted this seed without even overlooking it. I mean, without even looking at the grounds, without even looking at the place, without even looking at what they were investing in. It's like they just invested in it without thinking. And now there's a lot of regrets for doing so, you know. And fives are about change. And we had that five. That's personal freedom. It's it is. So there's going to be an unexpected change. Somebody is ending a cycle. That phase is over. It's like they come to some realization that there's, this is a dead end, you know? And this person may even be angry. You know, they get angry and they get upset because they start to see very clearly that this is not going to bring them. This is unrequited love, you know? <laughs> or an unrequited situation, whether it's a job or whatever it is. There's no reciprocation here. There's no, it's, there's no growth. There's no growth. And I feel like it's a time of growth. I feel like you're going through a time of growth. There's definitely going to be a change. Eight of Swords, right on top of that King of Wands, reversed, and in the, in the Seven of Cups, reversed. So we have somebody here that's been trapped. They've been in, tied to a situation, confining themselves, restricting themselves, probably reevaluating their circumstances, wanting to break free. But they've been stuck in this situation because, I don't know, it's something to have, it's comfortable, you know, it's even though it feels like prison. Something to do with prison. We have somebody here that is angry. They are angry. They see very clearly. They, they're at coming out of an illusion and they're angry and they're upset and they're having a hard time and they're struggling. They're struggling with their decision. They want to break free. There's some sort of, it's like this person was staying put in this situation to punish themselves. But on the bottom of the deck, we have the devil reversed, which is breaking free or things getting worse. That somebody has been suffering, and I see it a lot in this reading. They've really been suffering. They've really been struggling. They've been bound to a situation that is unhealthy because of ego. They let their ego control, okay? So somebody it may be coming out of their ego and they're angry and they're upset with themselves. I feel like there's some sort of reevaluation here. I really do. This is like letting go of emptiness. Somebody's been in a very empty situation, you know. They've been in mental conflict. Really, we have the Eight of Swords, the Nine of Swords, the Ten of Swords. This is the end, okay? This is totally the end. This is breaking free from a deep, dark place. We have some. This is freedom. Freedom. We do have freedom. Freedom. There's a woman here that's not very, all she cares, she's very selfish. She doesn't care. She doesn't care who she hurts. Not very loving at all. King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I was clarifying that Empress reverse. Could be dealing with a Taurus or a Libra. Uh, we also have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Again, we have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius as well. Uh, this is the end. This is goodbye. Um... Stabbed right in the back. A lot of suffering. This is the end of suffering, though. The suffering is about to come to an end because we have somebody that's going to take spontaneous action. It's like they just need to break free. i got to break free from this. I have to break free from this. There's, I'm not getting what I deserve. There's no reciprocation, you know. There's, there, this isn't... This isn't giving me anything. Six of Pentacles reversed. 
So if somebody's going to be acting on their feelings, they're going to be listening to their intuition, they're going to be following their heart, they're, they're stepping into new territory, they're leaving a phase of their life behind with a woman, and this could be a mother, it could be a mother, or it's a wife, or it's, or it's a woman that just... She's not very womanly, okay? The Empress in reverse is not a feminine. She's not very feminine, okay? Or she's high maintenance or something like that. She doesn't cook. She don't know how to cook. Or she's not very good at cleaning. Or she's not a homemaker or something like that. Anyhow, the King of Cups. King of Cups is going to be following their heart, looking for love. Choosing, choosing, and I can see the choice. Somebody is choosing, they're going to be taking action. I think it's impulsive, I think it's spontaneous to leave something behind. It does have to do with a woman that is self absorbed, okay? She, or she's just lazy or something like that. The world card is a major completion of a cycle, it's the end of a journey. Major accomplishment traveling could be a change of residence here somebody could be moving there and there's force here <coughs> excuse me that the empress reverse is forced i feel like somebody could be forced they could be forced to leave forced to go we have a battle that is ending six of wands we have a we have a a uh, strong, determined individual who has had to fight. This person is a leader. They have fought a lot. This person is taking the lead. They are all done playing games. They're all done uh, battling. Okay? They're done with the conflict and they're going to someplace else. Okay? <clears throat> There's some sort of messages that are going back and forth between two people. There could somebody could be developing a love connection with somebody else, or there's going to somebody's going to start communicating with somebody that they have been admiring. They may even have been admiring them from afar. There's been some sort of restrictions. I feel like the restrictions are being removed. Somebody's gonna be following their heart. They're breaking free from an unbalanced situation. There's a lot of regrets for even getting involved. Somebody has been really struggling with making this choice. They have because, you know, they already invested so much in it. This is it. Okay, this is the end. We have, it is. This is the end of the struggle. It's the end of suffering. This is, this is expressing feelings, following the heart. Doing the right thing, acting with integrity. I mean, the Six of Wands is a person of valor. This is success. This is seeing, this is somebody that's taking a leadership position that is in a leadership position. We may even have somebody here that is being urged. It's like, just do it, just do it, just go, just go, just go, right? There's some sort, there could be even be some public recognition here with the Six of Wands as well. There's some sort of admiration for a job well done for, and there is, there is with the world as well. Somebody may be getting some sort of public recognition. There's, or public, something could be made public. There's public here and there's public in the world card. Something There could be something that is made public. We may, we may have a woman that is a, is a complete nasty bitch that publicizes something because she's jealous or she's possessive or she doesn't care, you know, which causes this movement. Okay, there's definitely going to be some movement. And something's going to happen really, really fast. The end, the end of a cycle with a woman that doesn't know what love is, okay, don't know how to love her, she's not very, don't take care of herself. Making a heartfelt, you know, choice. Stepping into new territory, congratulations. 
freedom. There's a lot of freedom here. Freedom, freedom from somebody's grasp. We see that with the devil reverse. There's freedom, freedom from suffering. Freedom, 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 breaking free. There is break free, and 555 is personal freedom. It is. There's going to be a conflict that forces change. Go, Huck. 